Hi dude, may I ask you some questions about who we are? In fact, I don't know why I'm here. Of course, I'd be delighted to answer. Go ahead. Well, what do we have inside and what do we do in the cell? Well, as a mitochondrion, you should know that our body is made up of an outer membrane and an inner membrane that forms folds called cristae. We have our own DNA and some ribosomes. Our main fa function is generating ATP through the oxidative phosphorylation in the respiratory chain. Hmm, interesting. But how do we go from a human being to another? In human fertilization, the sperm from dad only provided its nucleus, while the egg from mom provides both its nucleus and its cytoplasm, including some mitochondria. Thus, mitochondrial genes are maternally inherited. At first, we are all the same, but when we are exposed to mutagenic agents, such as free radicals, differences am among us appear, known as heteroplasmy. When the level of mutant mitochondria exceeds a certain threshold, the cell expresses this function. So, why do we get ill? Mitochondrial illnesses can be caused by mutations in mitochondrial DNA or nuclear DNA. Let's focus on mutations in mitochondrial DNA. 22 of our genes encode transfer RNA, 2 genes ribosome RNA, and we have 13 structural genes that encode proteins. Some mutations on their own are the main cause of disorders such as Mellas or Lake syndrome. Besides, as these genes are responsible for the synthesis of ATP, mutations can cause diseases related to energy deficit, especially in the brain and muscles. This is why we play an important role in neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson, Alzheimer or Huntington disease. Oh, I see. And isn't there any way to avoid this? Well, there are several methods to prevent inherited mitochondrial diseases. Firstly, cytoplasmic transfer. There are a cell with unhealthy mitochondria and a cell with healthy mitochondria. Scientists remove the nucleus in the healthy cell and they transfer its cytoplasm, including its mitochondria, into and an unhealthy cell. Secondly, nuclear transfer. A cell with unhealthy mitochondria and a cell with healthy mitochondria are necessary. Scientists separate cytoplasm from nucleus in both of them. In the unhealthy cell, the cytoplasm is removed and in the healthy cell, the nucleus is eliminated. Then, the cytoplasm of the healthy cell and the nucleus of the unhealthy cell are put together. Finally, in mitochondrial gene therapy, a cell with unhealthy mitochondria can be treated using an RNA or DNA vector which contains a healthy copy of the gene responsible for unhealthy mitochondria. Scientists include it in all mitochondria to try to avoid the illness caused by the mitochondrial mutant gene. And that's all? Actually, there's still research to be done. I'm sure biomedicine students will discover more about us.